Here's an early look at my booster guidance mod for Kerbal Space Program. It's nearly complete. First, um, set your landing point. You can set it to a vessel um, or you can just select it from the view or you can enter uh, latitude and longitude. Uh, now we'll enable it um, at, to do boost back. Uh, you can choose which stage you enable, um, or you can just say enable guidance and it will uh, select for you. So the rocket's going to aim to minimise the distance between the yellow target and the red predicted um, destination. It's just going to fire horizontally to do boost back burn and uh, minimize the error you can see near the top to as much as it can. Um, the angle next to the error is the error in the current attitude angle between where the rocket is pointing and where we want it to point. Um, I'll just fast forward um, to get to the interesting point which is the re-entry burn. So this will fire out the altitude given and will reduce the speed until what you select. So it will fire at 70 kilometers and reduce the speed to 700 meters per second. That's a bit high really, I think it should be more like 50 kilometers. So at the moment it's just going to steer retrograde uh, and then when we enter the re-entry burn um, it's trying. It's going to try and steer slightly one way or another to try and minimise the error uh, a bit more. I mean, the error is only a couple hundred metres, so it's unlikely to be able to reduce it much. But it's taken it below 100. You can see there's a bit of noise in that um, prediction there. Okay, the re-entry burn's completed and now it's steering aerodynamically with the grid fins trying to minimise that error. And you can see we've got a gain in each of these stages so that's how aggressively it's going to steer and a maximum angle, angle of attack. So you see the degrees next to the area zero, so it's pointing in the direction you, you want at the moment. It's popped up to one. Uh, it's still trying to steer and keep that error pretty low. It needs to be below really 30 meters in order to land on the drone ship. Then pretty soon it has a bit of a stability problem. Um, I'm going to need to reduce the gain. So there's a delay in the steering and it causes this oscillation so I've dropped it down so it's a bit more controllable. I cheat a bit and up the gain again to pull back the error. I may not have had to do that. And then it's going to fire the landing burn very late. And it lands successfully on the drone ship. This gives an idea of how small that target is in the ocean. Thanks for watching.